It's the only lift kit they have that both lifts the vehicle and will lower the vehicle. What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. Today we got a special package. Oh yes we do. I actually just got finished power washing 6-7 Lime. That thing gets just covered in salt <laughs> every snow. Like you saw at the end of the last video how snowy it was. Yeah, that thing was a mess. I really gotta stop taking nice things and running it through there. However, I'm about to do the same thing and build another really nice truck. We'll get into this in one second. However, I've got amazing news. Really, really amazing news. Let me set you guys up here for a second. Oh yeah, nice and close on this beautiful face. Boom, all right, so guys, Yesterday, I pulled the trigger and I got us a booth at Daytona. Yes, I'll have a booth at Daytona. Um, if the spots stay the same, I should be next to grid wheels and TIS wheels, um, black red headwear, and somebody else. There's like a four corner. But I should be next to grid wheels, TIS wheels um, over there. This is an awesome opportunity. Uh, I want to take the, obviously, I want to take the banana ram to Daytona, and I just think having my own booth would be super sweet. You know, set up there, have you guys come out, check it out, check everything out. I'm going to try and get as many of of these trucks here um, down there. I gotta figure it out. I know uh, my buddy that's the shipper can haul two. If I get a trailer, I can haul one legally, I think. So we'll figure something out here, trust me. But yeah, it's June 11th through 13th. We'll have a boot there, come on, hang out. I know a couple of my buddies who, um, who've never been to Daytona, that they're gonna make the trip down there, which is super sweet, and they're like, oh, we'll probably fly or whatever, but honestly, if you've never been to Daytona, it's just a fun week. Uh, there's a lot of trucks everywhere you go, just trucks left, right, up and down, side by side. There's trucks everywhere. Um, it's not as crazy as, I guess social media makes it seem like all the tickets and stuff. That was that was big a couple years ago. Last two years I've gone, um, it's been pretty sane, pretty cool, pretty chill. They actually had to close the beach because there was so much traffic. Um, but yeah, guys, it's just a fun time. You don't have to have a SEMA truck or banana ram kind of truck to bring down there. Everyone's got their trucks. Everyone's having a good time. That's honestly what it's all about. So guys, whoa, 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 whoa. So guys, if you I've never been to Daytona. I encourage you to come down, hang out. Uh, like I said, we'll have a booth in the show. Uh, like I said, hopefully, I'm gonna try and get as many of you know the trucks there as possible. I gotta figure something out, but 6-7 Line was actually gonna be not retired this year. I was just gonna take the banana ram, but now that I got my own booth, we may be getting it, we, we may be getting it back down there. So yes, guys, official vendor for Daytona Truck Me. Come on down and uh, have a good time. Next thing, we just got this. So literally, I was driving here, got the call. He said, yo, I'll be there in like 20 minutes. I'm like, shoot, me too. Um, so as soon as I got here, pretty much this thing got unloaded immediately and it's in here. So I didn't get any footage of that. You guys already know Kelderman Manufacturing. This is an air ride. Now let me tell you something. We're gonna cut this open in two seconds here. I'm gonna get some snips for the uh, metal straps there. This lift going on this truck. Some of you may be upset as soon as I tell you what it is. But let me just hear me out. This is the best lift literally all around for your truck. We're converting the factory coils which have an amazing ride already to an air suspension. Yes, we're converting it. Now, a lot of you are gonna be like, oh, this thing's gonna be huge. Mm, not so much huge, but so, 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 useful. All right, forget this. This is the Kelderman three inch air ride for the banana ram. Yes, you heard me right, three inches only. <laughs> Hopefully you guys saw that. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, guys, this looks incredible. Now, obviously, you guys can see, it is pre-done in lollipop red. Kelderman does offer you the option to powder coat the lift there. Now, I will tell you something, 
doing that does set you back a decent amount of time. I was waiting on this for a long time. The kit was cut, ready to go. Problem was, they were waiting on taking it to powder. Reason why I went with the three inch air ride. Hear me out. It's the only lift kit they have that both lifts the vehicle and will lower the vehicle. So this will drop below stock height. This will also give this truck about a seven inch lift if I crank it all the way up. Ride height's about three, just ideal setup. So we can drop it below stock height, not so much for me, that's like a cool factor. But for other people, <laughs> drop it low, enter and exit, super simple. Ride height, three inch, still gives you the perfect height. If you need to connect a gooseneck, yeah. So we're only going up three inches, you can still connect your gooseneck, you can still haul. On top of that, these bags are meant to haul. These, these give you the optimum ride, whether you're towing, you're just driving, or you know, you're making a little fancy kind of ride. So we can still connect a gooseneck to this. Now here's the problem with this truck. This obviously lifted 12 inches. For me to like actually make a gooseneck work on this, I have to severely modify the trailer. But with this three inch lift, we can come over here, hook up a gooseneck, no problem. Next thing. If you wanna do service on your truck, everyone is, is so with me on the fact that I can sit underneath my green truck, do oil changes, install things, check things out. I can just sit underneath the truck. You don't know how awesome that is. If you go back and watch a video from, or the last video, we did the Eco Diesel exhaust, as you can see. It sounds amazing, by the way. If you haven't checked that video out, check it out. <laughs> But we had to jack it up and it was still like cramped and tight underneath there, it's just not fun. But this thing, at the touch of a button, not only that, through a phone app too, I can lift my truck up seven inches and I can get right underneath it, do the oil change, do whatever I need. Boy, is that awesome. So now you have a truck that's easy to work on, can still haul, has an amazing ride quality, and also you can sit there and dump it for looks or ease of entry and exit. All around guys, I think this was the best choice for the banana ram, considering I already have this massive ram right there. I don't need two massive rams at the moment. At the moment, don't worry. Big trucks, still my thing. We're gonna keep doing that. But still, a usable, well-riding truck is definitely, definitely the move. That still rides amazing, still drives amazing, but you get the concept with the big and the trailer and all that. So boom, here we go. Kelderman, three inch lift for a Ram. We got the Firestone bags, as always. I believe there's two three gallon air tanks, I forget. Oh my gosh, the rest of this looks so good. So good. We got the Kelderman Raptor tuned shocks this time to go with the lift. These are tuned correctly for the lift and its perform for the lift and its performance. So here are the ones for the rear. The rams are super weird. As you can see, the shock kind of goes down and up through the frame here. So it's like a really weird shock. You can't really mount resi shocks in the rear of this truck unless you mount them like upside down and super weird. But um, here are the rears. Let's crack into a front. Okay, still not a front. Here are the steering stabilizers for this. Also, Kelderman Raptor tune. Third time might be the charm here. Here is your uh, resi shock for the front of the truck. Kelderman made their own Raptor series shock to be tuned specifically to their air suspension so it gives you the best ride possible. Now a lot of you guys are looking at this box being like, wow, now that's a lift kit. Literally, it this is nuts. Um, usually I'm you know, used to the small little boxes. Take them apart and you have like a lift kit. But this is its huge own, comes on a pallet. Same thing with that one, huge own box came on a pallet lift kit. That was nuts. And again, this is also nuts. Guys, now this may be the dumbest thing you've ever heard. <clears throat> me reading these instructions throws me back directly to putting the lift on the ram. Well, the green ram. And what I'm reading in here, we may be able to bust this lift out rather quick, actually. I really, really did not want to do the lift on this truck until 
I got the entire interior back together. However, me seeing this and how good it looks and just how uh, just unreal this is gonna be, I think I've come to the conclusion that we will be waiting on our seatbelts for a minute. We will be waiting on our audio to ship. I am waiting on the fiber optics to come in and also, while I'm at it, I was thinking, and a couple of you guys commented, and when I was just looking at the, you know, the headliner, like the star kits, it would be sweet to legitimately come in here and actually recover this headliner as well. Why? For no apparent reason. It's a perfectly good headliner. It's got 20,000 miles on it. However, I'm thinking, I was thinking something cool. So, hear me out. Red suede yellow suede or brown suede to match the Longhorn seats. I think that would be super sweet to open up this door. Boom, and right here, what do you see? <laughs> you see the brown Longhorn interior. You obviously, you see the yellow paint. You're gonna see the door panels. The door panels really set me off right now. They're just really out of place. You're gonna see the wood grain steering wheel. And you'd look up and you'd see a brown suede Starlight headliner or a yellow mustard kind of suede starlight headliner or a red suede starlight headliner Honestly, I think that would be pretty sweet because why not? Why not? I'm already in there the headliner will already be out of the truck I think I think we can squeeze it out uh, if we bring it if we that's why I kind of wanted the whole seats out of here thing Because if we drop it down now, there's nothing in the way and we could even probably bring it down tilt it, angle it, and squish it out one of the back or the front doors here, and we should be pretty straight. But resurfacing it in a brown headliner I think would be pretty dope. A yellow headliner would just be random and wild, but who cares, I think that would be sweet. And red to match the suspension may work, may be just, whoa, with the yellow seat belt. So we may end up doing a brown suede headliner. And then obviously once it dries, we'll sit there and poke all the holes and do our stars. So I'm thinking, I'm just thinking that might be the move because you know what the headliners are already out why not I've got so much to do to this interior and so much to wait on and do to that I don't see why not put this be in neutral back it up a couple inches and start getting this thing installed and I think we may do that a lot sooner than anticipated um, I don't want to sit here and I would love to take every single piece out of this box for you guys right now show you guys everything like look at these freaking trailing arms obviously same beefy ones that are on the green ram but look at this we also have the the um, radius arms in here so we just said there's a lot in here however little things you know when i got this lift kit for the first time on this truck and i put this on if we, if we go back and you know look at that video it, it you know it's like looking at the instructions and you're like doing what here what but even things like right here drill and tap these holes in the frame we did that drill and tapping uh those holes in the like the cool spring buckets now back then i was like Man, this is confusing, this is crazy. Putting these on, there's like a plate that goes behind it and it goes up in here and it kind of goes down here. I get that now, I get that. I get how um, the mounts work up on top of you know the coilovers or in the new instance, airbag mounts. I know how the mounts work. I know the holes I need drilled. I, I get the concept, you know, the Kelderman design and the Kelderman idea behind the way they design these lift kits. So I get it now where I can say, oh, here it is, boom turn, drill, put it in. Instead of me trying to figure it out as I was going on this truck, I got an idea because ideally, it's the same thing. Just airbag mounts instead of coilover mounts. So, kind of the same concept. I figured, I've, me, I read through the instructions really quick here and to me, what I read, I think this should be a simple install. It's gonna take some time, obviously, because we gotta mount the tanks, get all the fittings in there, get all the airlines run, um, get the, the, the level links and everything set and everything calibrated so we can get it, you know, at ride height, full dump, and uh, fully inflated. We're gonna take some time to do that. However, I do think that uh, I will more than likely start tackling this sooner than later. But drop your comments down below. Uh, like I said, a brown suede headliner might be super chill and I think we should take advantage of the situation at our hands 
and kind of make that happen. I think we're going to take the headliner out, recover it, starlight that thing, get our seatbelts back, run an audio system, and then once all that's done, we'll run our harnesses so the heated and cooled seats work, the steering wheel works, the heated seats back here work, and um, we'll get all those harnesses ran, put those in, and then the interior will be buttoned up. But in that time, it makes no sense for the truck just to kind of sit here while I'm waiting on parts. We can tackle this, and we can tackle this quite efficiently. I honestly think rather quickly. If I read the instructions correctly, and I kind of have all the parts on hand, we may be able to tackle this in one day, I hope. <laughs> because that last one took me like two full days, no sleep. So I'm hoping we can do this one-ish full day and we should be good, I think, I think. Also hear me out on these shocks. Do you think we should get some uh, vinyl and wrap them as well? Or I may just leave them um, the Black Raptor to start and then you know in the future I can always unbolt them and go in there and wrap them with some red vinyl and put the Kellerman sticker on it. Oh, but really quick here, just wanna show you guys kind of what we're dealing with. Here, <laughs> the bizarre vision I had, obviously with this one, but the bizarre vision with this one, guys, just that's that in itself is all you need to just understand how freaking just out, out of this world this truck's gonna be. Every, you will be able to see red, I can tell you that. You'll be able to see the red there and in the front and the, the, the <laughs> radius arm and all of that. You'll be able to see this and to me that, is gonna look absolutely nuts. We may have to go out there. I do have an exhaust coming for this, but we will have to get a tip to match because that would be freaking nuts too. So I think, you know, we'll get our, you know, the red and I don't even know if I wanna do the brushed and red tip or a yellow and red tip, I don't know. But all I can tell you is that looks so good underneath there and I cannot wait to get those in. So I apologize for kind of the, the, the very laid back video, instructional, informative, why I did this, what I'm doing, and, and you'll see how awesome it is kind of video. However, I was just so excited and you guys have been waiting for this forever and ever and ever and ever. You guys have been waiting for this lift kit for Ever. So I wanted to bring it to you guys and just, you know, let you guys have it right here. And I'm going to tell you in this instance, here's like the, the level sensor kind of bracket and stuff. I, I've been dying to see this thing lifted. I can't stand this any longer. This look right here. I just can't. The tires I want for this thing are uh, back ordered till, back ordered till I think think March, which sucks, but however, look at this. I am tired of the nosedive on this truck. And all I can tell you is as soon as you level a truck, even the Eco Diesel outside, this guy with just a level looks like a whole new truck. And it looks so much better than it did. So what I'm saying is just, you know, the three inch lift on this truck will make it look so much, so much different. And on top of that, we can jack these bags all the way up get underneath there and do the work we need, which will also be helpful and useful for the intercooler, the boost tubes. Um, I also need to get in here. I'm gonna do the rock lights. So don't worry, we got so much stuff to do this banana ram still. Lift, rock lights, intercooler, boost tubes, more motor mods. Those are surprised, that's kind of like the back burner. Very back burner, because I like how this truck drives now. So very back burner on that one. Interior swap, new headliner, stars in the headliner, the seat belts, audio system, getting everything wired to work, steering wheel swap, exhaust, obviously the wheels and the tires, like I said, they're kind of back ordered. I may be able to find a place that has a couple in stock. Um, I think you guys are gonna like where I'm going with this. And I, when I got this truck and I was deciding on a suspension color, I could see like in my head, I could see this thing rolling down the highway with the red suspension, the wheels I picked and um, <laughs> the tires I picked and this thing just being nasty. Don't forget too, we also need to paint the flares, install the painted handles, paint the mirrors. We're waiting on some clear lenses for our tail lights. Not these, we have another set. Um, but we're waiting on clear lenses for our tail lights. If those come in, if not, we'll get another set and pop those open and, and, and get those painted. We gotta paint a third brake light. So we have so much stuff to do to the banana ram still. So although this is, although this is kind of an intermittent build update video, I just want you to know that stuff is gonna start flying here shortly. 
big time. I know a lot of you love this build, and I love it too. I can't wait to get this thing driving and rolling on the, the, on the suspension it deserves and the suspension it needs. Like I said, guys, jack this thing up three inches. You know, probably sit about here, which will be absolutely badass. Uh, it's gonna ride straight. Don't forget, gotta, same thing, list goes on. Cab lights, gotta switch those to white. Obviously, our Boost Auto Parts mirrors are gonna have the, uh, the running lights in them. Gonna wire those up. The list goes on and on and on. So this truck, like I said, this is a full build. We're touching every single detail on it. Every single one. So we got like an endless list of stuff to do to this truck. And I want you guys to stay tuned get down there, click that subscribe button, shoot this video a like, drop a comment if you guys are excited. Uh, we got so much coming and hopefully you guys love the idea I went with on this three inch air suspension. Obviously, Kelderman Manufacturing. This thing is gonna just ride nuts and look nuts and I I don't even think, I, I honestly don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of it ever. Same thing with that thing. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of this thing ever. We'll see. But, oh, this thing's gonna be absolutely nuts. All right, guys, again, I apologize for kind of the update video. However, I feel like it's truly important and a lot of you have been waiting on this lift, as have I. Oh, this is just gonna be freaking, oh. This is just gonna be freaking sweet, guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't, I literally cannot wait. Obviously, this goes on over your coil bucket and then your bag sits there, but. This is gonna be sweet. Another thing I love about Kelderman lifts is literally the bolts come in the place they're supposed to. <laughs> so you automatically know what's going where. This weekend we'll probably install this, so you'll probably see this video on Tuesday-ish, getting this installed. We're gonna, I'm gonna try and tackle some of the interior stuff. I'm gonna get the sound system ordered and if everything shows up promptly this week, that will probably be my best bet to get you uh, the audio installed with the amps and the speakers and the doors. I'll probably pull all the door panels because I don't need them anymore at the moment. Uh, we may even be able to install the rear handles <laughs> at the moment as well. So like I said, guys, a lot of stuff is gonna start coming fast and this banana ram is gonna transform so much in so little time and I cannot wait to wash this thing and slap that longhorn badge across the tailgate. I cannot wait. This is the type of build, guys, that is, like I said, full out. We're doing it all. If you enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you enjoy this channel, get down there. Please click subscribe. Drop me a comment down below. Tap the notification bell. Click all so you don't miss out on any... Oh. Mm. Tap the notification bell, click all so you don't miss out on any of our uploads. Take care and I will see you guys soon. It's all coming together guys. This thing is going to break the internet or something. This is nuts. Also while I'm at it, McDonald's hit me with that sponsor. Um, I think we can work something out. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.